Barry is getting dreadfully near to its conclusion, but we're still not ready to say goodbye to this strange and fascinating tale. But it's obvious from the most recent episode of this legendary comedy series that a very natural climax is about to take place. Barry Season 4 has had a number of quite bizarre and high-concept episodes, but this week the story returns to a much more grounded world. The titular hitman was apprehended by Jim Moss in Barry Season 4 Episode 6 as he attempted to murder Gene Cousineau, while Hank and Futches fought over their conflicting new egos. This episode of Barry does suffer a little from being a foundation-laying exercise, like many penultimate episodes do. However, this trade-off is acceptable when the basis is thus solid. Spoilers for the upcoming episode are present. This week's events start with Barry in an uncommon state of weakness and vulnerability. Jim Moss naturally wants the person who killed his daughter to suffer. Barry is now undergoing psychological torment that has caused odd Linkian images in his head. However, a more physical kind of punishment will soon take the place of this. Moss, however, now has a new target when Barry admits he paid Gene $250,000 in compensation. While all of this is going on, Gene is organizing a social media protest against Warner Bros. in an effort to block the production of the Barry Berkman movie. However, he starts to warm up to the concept of the biopic after it appears that Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the greatest performers of all time, wants to play Gene in the movie. The stakes were once again heightened this week, but there was still plenty of potential for humor, and as usual, NOHO Hank and Futch is delivered. Hank puts together a group of four FUBAKs to kill Futches, but it doesn't quite work out since Futches posts the heads of the assassins back to Hank within an hour. The terrible predicaments these two criminal commanders find themselves in provide endless amusement. Hank and his assistant try to attack Futches' headquarters but can only carry one missile due to cost constraints. So Futch's gang decided a fast and furious movie would be the best way to block out the noise of their beheadings. All the major Barry characters are placed on a collision course with one another as the episode comes to a close in a Tarantino-like web of intertwining plots. When Sally and John arrive in La, they were hoping to see Jean and Barry. Instead, she meets Hank. Hank kidnaps his family and calls his old friend Barry to say he wants to meet him again when he spots a chance to lure Barry out of hiding. Barry is able to escape his torture cell while Jim is preoccupied with his latest vengeance against Gene, and he does not appear particularly pleased to hear from Hank. Gene is tricked into a trap by Mark Wahlberg's promise of a meeting. But it turns out that Jim, the district attorney, and Gene's son are more interested in learning about Cousineau's role in Janice's death. We are eagerly anticipating the conclusion next week, when all these diverse threads of the plot will finally come together. Almost all of the key characters desire blood, and we have a hunch that enough of it will be spilled before the show is through. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.